New tonight, thousands of dead fish are once again turning up on the east end. This time, the fish kill is filling parts of the Peconic River. News 12 Long Island's Darius Radzius has the latest from Riverhead. Not only can you see dead fish in the Peconic River, you can sure smell it. It's disgusting. For the second time in just a couple of weeks, hundreds of dead bunker fish surfaced in the Peconic River here in Riverhead. The odor so strong, you don't necessarily have to be by the river to know something is wrong. We're up on the in the campground, just up on the uh, behind the parking lot, mm -hmm. and the smell up there, you can't sit outside. People I spoke with say they've seen fish kills here before, but this year they're alarmed because it's gone really bad. The last bunker kill we have like that was about three, four years ago, but uh, this is worse. This is like we had this twice in the same year. Usually we just have it once. Town officials blame the bluefish for chasing the bunker fish up the river and cornering them and suffocating them as the oxygen they all compete for disappears. But well, Silas Mitchell believes it's night. more than just yeah, nature. Right. It's probably have something to do with the, uh, the sewage. Riverhead sewage. Riverhead Town Supervisor Sean Walter says they're trying to figure out why so many fish are dying, but doesn't believe the sewage plant is to blame. I'm not a chemist, but the interesting thing about the sewage treatment plant is we are probably sending highly oxygenated water out into the estuary. But until experts figure out the cause, people here tell me they want the fish gone, but Walter says that's easier said than done. I can't necessarily take government funds and go to a, a private marina and clean it up. Town officials are asking marina and private beach owners to collect the dead fish. The town will then come by and pick up the fish and take them to a landfill. In Riverhead, Darius Radzius, News 12, Long Island.